Australia remained unchanged for this match, whereas Indians made two changes, Agurka and Sangwi in. Hazruddin won the toss for India and put Australia in. Gilchrist Chris got them off to a good start, 45 with just 60 deliveries, a couple of very good knocks, one from Steve Waugh, the other by Lehman got them to a position of strength. They ended up with 272 in the quota of 50 overs for the loss of 9 wickets. Then Kadesh Prasad was a pick of the bowlers, 2 for 32, 2 wickets spent for Agurka, 2 was picked by Kanetka. So the target for Sachin Tendulkar this time is 273 at 5.46 per over. We join Richie Benno in the commentary box waiting for the action to start. Now, that's what's needed, 273 overs, the asking rate, 5.46 per over. This has been a terrific tournament, a wonderful match between India and Australia, the last one on Wednesday night, and now this final, because the Australians fought back so splendidly, it's set up for a lovely contest on the final night. He realized that uh, he had to make sure that it wasn't uh, an over which was a scoreless over. He had to score off it, tried to pull the uh, ball, hurrying on to him and uh, catching him in an awkward position. And him ending up getting a simple catch to Moody. He's out of 23 in India, 39 for one. Once again, as a uh, Muhammad Azruddin is using Ayan Mongia as his pinch hitter. He did a terrific job uh, the other night. 
in the match against Australia. is playing very well. Thank you. 
but as I've been saying, it's not a uh, shot that pays you too many dividends. This time it's cost Kyan Longia his wicket. He's out after playing a good hand at 28, and India have lost the second wicket to 128. Mohamed Azhuddin comes out to join Sachin Tendulkar. Watch this one again, driven through the covers. Lovely shot. In the commentary box to tell you more, Ravi Shastri, and with him is Richie Benno. Thank you, Tony. And this match now heading for a real exciting finish. The Indians have got wickets in hand, and just gets a feeling that something's going to give now. Buzz around the crowd. Even they expect something too. And the 50 partnership coming up with that boundary from Mohamed Azuddin. That's come in pretty good time. So that's definitely on. With eight wickets in hand, India must believe they can win this game. Australia need a couple of wickets. Yeah, the wickets in hand are the things that uh, when you get to the Australians at the moment. They simply must knock over a couple of wickets, otherwise India will go comfortably. Oh, that smash back. In fact, the deflection has helped Tendulkar. He'll get another run for this. Inching towards yet another hundred in international cricket. I thought there was a lot of noise the other night when he uh, made his 100 and then when he got India into the final, into the, past the qualifying point, it'll be nothing to the noise here tonight. And that will get him closer. 97 with that single. What a performance to do it two days on the trot. A big match. Tremendous pressure. Terrific tournament. 40, 80, 38, 143, and he's still going strong here. He's actually played in restrained fashion tonight. Not uh, like on Wednesday night. This has been uh, it's been a wonderful innings, but uh, not quite the same. That's good running. When I say that he's batted in restrained fashion, I should add that he's made 97 from 99 balls. And uh, this goes to show the kind of form he's in at the moment. 97 of 99 balls. 
Ten fours and a six. And he had six sixes in the other game. A big cheer here. And that single will help him keep the strike. So ten runs coming off that over. Good one for India. 187 for two. So 14 overs remaining. The Indians ahead of the Australians at this stage. Not only with the number of runs they've got. But they've also got more wickets in hand. It's only fair to say, Richie, that Australia's unbeaten run in this competition might just be threatened now. It's threatened by that uh, figure of two wickets down sitting on the scoreboard there under 188. We're into the 37th over and the strain is intense out there. Everyone is moving quickly, trying to cut off the fours and the ones. is on 99. There will be an explosion in the stadium. If and when he reaches his 100, he's on 99 and on strike. Cleverly bowled by Moody, it's his slower off spinner. That's it! 100 number 15 for Sachin Tendulkar in one day internationals. Tremendous evolution here from the crowd. What a player! seems to be going right for Australia at the moment. The Indians have got this game under control at the moment. That's the second time in that area there's been a slight fumble that's uh, taken the ball over the boundary when the player actually has made a tremendous effort to uh, manage to get his hand on the ball. 194 for two. Eight runs coming off that over, 195 for two. In fact, we got a message this morning in the commentary box from none other than his wife, Anjali, who said, just in case Sachin reaches 100, wish him from Anjali and Sarah, that's his daughter, a very happy birthday. Proud wife there and a proud young girl. Well, he's done it and he's done it in style as well. And that's the target they were chasing 273. 45 for Gilchrist, 45 for Bevan, and 270s for War and Darren Lehman. Fine innings from those two. been crashed off the back foot was hit in the air but that ball was traveling to the fence like a tracer bullet this is perfect timing by the Indian batsmen they've made sure the Australians have never got them to the point where they required seven and over down the track 
this time not getting hold of it. He was eyeing extra cover. We had the advantage of the replay here, which showed that um, Ball may well have hit the pad before the bat. But as Ward walked away, it looked, well, I'm no expert lip reader, as though he said, in answer to one of his players, he, that's Buckner, said it hit the bat first. Yes, it's important, uh, Australia do exactly what Richie Bedolon mentioning in the previous over, two or three overs for two or three runs, because then what will happen is that the Indians will have to take the risk, they'll have to go for the big shots, and that will give an opportunity to Australia to pick up a wicket. at his palm there it's it's hot and humid obviously stepped from his hand surprised Tendulkar surprised the keeper and a no ball signal it was uh, the flipper but it was a slip flipper one well, of the rare occasions no ball was decided was given at both ends Ball by uh, by Warren had the leading edge. There are only four men inside the circle, so it uses the chances of uh, a catch going to hand. Ball in shine. They run on the misfield and get the single. So the required run rate just over six runs per over. 64 runs is what India require to lift the Coca-Cola Cup. A couple of big overs here will really put them in the driver's seat. Tom Moody now will drop back into the attack. He's bowled seven overs for 38. time in adjusting the field. He's talking about the Australian fielding. They set high standards for themselves, but today one just gets the feeling in that they felt the pressure. It's been a little ragged. And for the player of the tournament, you have that Opal Astra. And if Tendulkar is there till the end, just be picking up the keys of the car in about an hour's time. He's got a chance. A fair chance, Rishi. 406 runs in this tournament. He's fielded well, he's been involved in runouts, he's picked up wickets. It's time it's Azuddin's turn to get into the action. Powerful stroke. Normal course of events, the best you'd be able to do would be to uh, square cut that down into the ground. Oh, he goes for the big one. There is a man in the deep. Darren Lehman, uh, he had to really race across the turf to restrict the batsman to just two.
gathered in. The ball was moving very fast. That was Lehman. He's, uh, he's one who misfielded a couple early on, and that came after his splendid batting performance. One of the best innings I've ever seen him play. will be happy with this over. Seven runs coming off it. 2-1-6 for two. Shane Warne in his final over now. Talking about Azaruddin and his decision to field first. It was a brave one. Not easy to chase totals in a final. Things have gone so far. He must be definitely eyeing that trophy. That smash back straight back over the bowler's head. And again, hit with tremendous power by Tendulka. You uh, hear a lot of people say that. Uh, Someone has hit a pretty good straight drive. Now that was a straight drive. Just bludgeoned that straight down the ground. Pressed into the advertising holdings. And he's not finished yet. Consecutive boundaries for Tendulkar. This man doesn't want to leave it till the end. He wants to get it over as quickly as possible. Well, that was an equally magnificent shot. A straight drive and then a beautiful drive through cover. He started off to hit it uh, through extra cover. Wide of the man feeling in uh, short there. And then just changed at the last moment. Played a very risky shot. A good piece of fielding. That would have been boundary number three otherwise. Having a lot of work to do in the field. Oh. And that ball was travelling. So the final ball of one spell. It's been a little expensive here. 60 runs he's gone for. He's not picked up a wicket. That's the last time we'll see the battle between Tendulkar and Warren, at least for a while. They've been at each other for the last three months, 226 for two. So the Indians having things under total control here. Eight wickets in hand, eight overs to go, and Tendulkar still there on strike. The chain though in the commentary box, it will be Tony Gregg, who's joined by Sunil Gavaskar. Thanks Ravi, yes, this has been a great performance. Sachin Tendulkar, India's hero, and uh, the captain of India have put on a partnership here, which has been uh, an absolute joy to watch. They've put on 98, Tendulkar's on strike at the moment on 114, and Azhar has got 49 not out. He's nudged that down a third man, so that makes it 99. All we need now is one for Mohammad Azraddin, that'll bring up his 50 and 100 partnership. Fantastic partnership uh, by two of India's most experienced batsmen. Mohamed Azharuddin hasn't quite uh, got the runs uh, here in the tournament, but he's come good at just the right moment. Oh, wow. Couldn't get that one away. He's, he's tried to work it away on the onside for one. Everyone are out of their seats. So I just hope that 
Mohammed Azarin, if he gets his 50, acknowledges all the uh, all the applause that's going on. It's just wonderful to see such an enthusiastic crowd. It's the only criticism I've got of Sachin Tendulkar. Acknowledges the dressing room, but not the whole stadium. And I think that. Oh, well played. Oh, this will be close. Oh, so close to being run out, going for his 50. However, he got there. And he raises his bat to everyone in the stadium. Mohammed Azradin, 50. Very well compiled inning this has been. He's given Sachin Tendulkar all the encouragement from the other end. He's uh, given him more of the strike. And this is a typical one-day single. These sometimes come about. These uh, sometimes don't come about. Oh, he's hit this one, Miles. Great shot. Oh, it's a biggie. Straight over the top. The little man has hit the big fella for six. He's off his size. And he's smashed him down the ground. What a player. What a wonderful player. I think he's decided now that he's going to finish this off quickly. Have a look at that shot. Whack again, through cover this time. Picked up on the boundary, fumbled on the boundary, back for the third. Oh, this is great batting, wonderful cricket entertainment. 11 runs off the over, 237 for two. Oh, this is high, what a six, what a six. Way down the ground, it's on the roof. It's bouncing around on the roof. Michael Kasprovitz is the new bowler. There it is. He smashed it high in the air and down the ground for six. Well, there's one lesson there for Michael Kasprovitz. He was trying to have a bit of a warble with Sachin Tendulkar at the beginning of uh, Sachin Tendulkar's innings, suggesting that he might have been just a little bit lucky with a couple of shots. You don't tangle with a batsman of Sachin Tendulkar's calibre because that is what's going to happen. What Tendulkar is saying with that shot to Kasparovic is fetch it, mate, or get another ball. Well, this little man is the nearest thing to Bradman there's ever been. What a player he is. And there he goes again. Whack. One bounce. Oh, it's got it in. He's kept it in, has he? Or did he run outside the line to get it back? That one's OK. Then look at two more. Well, he's just going to take the shortcut now. No more singles. He ran very hard between the wickets uh, on the Wednesday evening. He's run very hard between the wickets at the beginning of the innings when boundaries were a little difficult to come by and he had to play a little watchful game. Now we've decided no more running. He's going to go for the big shots. Well, he's round the wicket now. Tendulka 134 of 130 balls. He just wants the policeman who's wandering across the back of the bowler's arm over there. Have a look at him. Just wandering across. So we'll wait for him to go across and that's it. Now he's out of the way, so Tendulkar is ready. Ready for another big one. Get ready down the far end of the ground. If it's pitched up, it's going to go. A big appeal. Oh, he's given him. He's given him out LBW. Yeah. Now, this is an interesting decision. The question is, where did it pitch? Let's not dwell on it too much. Let's just dwell on the applause that this young man is going to get. They're out of their seats all around this ground. Here we go. Did it pitch outside leg stump? Was it going to hit the off stump? No way. That is missing off stump. However, the innings is over. They're all on their feet around this ground. It's a wonderful innings we've just seen. Two knocks in the row of the highest quality, Sonny. Absolutely. It's been a privilege to watch this innings. Very disappointed uh, getting out when uh, 
He knows that he's brought India so close to a victory. He wanted to be there right till the end, but that was not to be. A tough decision that, uh, that he's received. He's upset about it because he knows that he may have been uh, not out, but that's it. He's out. India 248 for three. Oh, that's got to be close. Oh, I tell you what. Well, I think umpire Buckner is fed up. That's the end of the over. We'll have a look at it in a minute. 255 for three. There's umpire Buckner out there uh, just having a chat to the match referee. Just have a look at this uh, LBW. This looked very adjacent, but I've got to say that uh, let's just see if there's much movement here. Yeah, well, it just dipped back a little bit, so uh, there may have been uh, an element of doubt in there, but uh, Fleming clearly is not a happy chappy. Yes, I think, um, I think he might lose a bit of his match fee. And uh, you can see he's got his notes out. Right, well, uh, Mohamed has it on strike. Casper hits the bowler. Oh, he's hit that one over the top of mid-wicket for four. He's going to fix it up now. Casper is not happy. That is good batting by Mohamed Azaruddin. That is clever batting by Mohamed Azaruddin. The fielders have been brought in the circle. And this is a shot that he probably would not want to see too, too often on uh, his uh, personal collection because he's uh, what we have seen, a silken smooth player, not a cross batted player. But the situation demanded with the fielders in that he go over the top. That's what he's done. That's what it's a wild after that ball. Set that one. Oh, well, he's trying to whip it away, and uh, Gasprovitz is not enjoying this too much. I think he was trying to whip that one away over the top of midwicket as well. Well, that that is because uh, one doesn't see uncultured shots from uh, Mamad Azaruddin. One doesn't see the agricultural shots from uh, Mamad Azaruddin. He plays cultured shots, and it's a cross batted swipe at a fast bowler. No fast bowler likes ever to be hit with the cross bat. Last ball from Kasperovic. Down the leg side and no wide given. Appealing and he's given out caught behind. Well, well, this is uh, this is interesting. Mohammed Azraddin cannot believe it. And there's a lot of a lot of what being said out there. Just a wide ball, never hit anything. Anyhow, he's on his way, 261 for one. Another shot at the stumps. And an overthrow this time, two. As they get closer, so the crowd get more excited. They came here today to watch India win. They were worried for a while. Then came Tenduka. Now they're cheering, they want a four. Or a six. Above all, they want victory. That's it, it's all over. India have won the Coca-Cola Cup in grand style. What a wonderful victory. The Australians played very, very well. Won all their preliminary matches. Scored a big score here. And India on the day were good enough to get there. Final of the match for today's game, Sachin Tendulkar once again. $1,500. Is that a dream series? And he'll collect the award from Mohammed Iqbal of AIY Gold.
and there's also an award for the man of the series. That's also Sachin Tendulkar, $2,500. Terrific performance by Sachin Tendulkar. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. Rich man on your birthday. Yeah, I wish I could have uh, many more birthdays like this. Uh, it's good for the country. A dream series. Uh, to do it two days on the trot. You did that on uh, two days ago on Wednesday and again today. You must have been tired. I was tired but uh, I had to give a gift to my wife on my birthday. This is for my wife. Well, 271. It was a stiff target. Uh, what was your plan when you went out there? I thought uh, Damon Fleming was uh, really bowling well. My aim was to see him off initially and then take the charge and it worked. Now, in the last couple of months, you've taken over a thousand runs of the Aussie attack. Do you think you're batting probably at the best in your career? I would like to be better than this. Uh, I'll be trying. Uh, there is always scope for improvement, I feel. But uh, looking back at the series against Australia in India and here, I'm very pleased about that. Well, many congratulations, Sachin. Fantastic performance. So, dream series for Sachin Tendulkar. Wow, what a performance. I'm sure he wanted to be there at the end. It was enough to ensure victory to India, which would have made him happy. Because so many times he makes a hundred, but India lose. The Indians lost Ganguly early for 23, but the third wicket partnership of 120 between Mohammad Azruddin and Sachin Tendulkar made sure that India got to that total of 272. They in fact ended up with 275 after 48.3 overs. Sachin Tendulkar, 134 of 131 balls, 12 fours and 3 sixes. The two Australian bowlers that impressed in the bowling department, Fleming with 2 for 47 of 10 overs, Kasper Vicks 2 for 48 also in his 10 overs. With those innings, he swept all the awards. The fastest 50 in 44 balls, the most sixes hit nine, the man of the match award, and of course, the man of the series award. It was a staggering performance. He scored 435 runs with 37 fours and nine sixes. That was really something special.